What's up, Cereal Bowls? It's your favorite crazy cereal, Insane Applejacks, here once again with the Atomic Game Squad, where we are sitting up here playing some more Pokemon today. Hopefully, how are you all doing today? Because I'm doing super duper chill, and it is great to be back here. Hopefully, you're all doing super duper chill as well, and you're hyped for another episode of Pokemon. I surely appreciate any support that you guys have been giving on this series. It's going so well so far, and I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that set up here and checked out episode one and two, set up here and gave the likes, set up here and commented on it, and set up here and shared it. So, if you haven't set up here and checked out, oh god, I said set up here a lot this already this episode but um if you haven't already checked out those episodes please check them out i shall put a card at the top right about here so that'll pop up and you could just click up there to get the links to those videos as always my stoop my crazy links and stuff are down below in description but um that's enough self-promoting right now it's time to sit up here and insert a training montage right about After all that super duper crazy grinding up, let's sit up here and have a look at our Pokemons. So as you can see right here, our Onyx, Rocky, who was new to the team at the end of the last episode, set up here and already has hit level 10. Ooh, Rocky, tell them what you got. I got Mud Sport, I got Tackle, I got Harden, and I got Rock Throw. So going into this first gym, he's going to be an amazing choice. Um, next up, we have our starter Pokemon, Usagi, chilling up here, and tell us about yourself, girl. She's a level 10, and she's got... What do you have, girl? What do you What do you have on you? I have Tackle, I have Growl, I have Razor Leaf, I have Poison Powder, and oh my god! So, with this being a flying gem, it'll be like, eh, but... At the same time, we did level her up to 10, and from what I was hearing, that should be enough for her to take at least somewhat of a hit if I do need to throw her in. But she, right now, she's chilling at our third option in the spike, so if worse comes to worse comes to worse, that's when we throw her into this fight. But um, otherwise, let's see who else we have here on this party list. Right now we have our girl Sono the Pidgey chilling at level 10 as well. We figured we would fight fire with fire. Well, at least flying with flying, but um, you know, you know how it goes here. So let's sit up here and figure out what the Sono girl has as level 10. She's got that tackle, she's got sand attack, and she's got gust. Now, I'm, I know you're sitting out there and you're looking like, why is this such a big deal? Well, I'm hoping that I'll have speed advantage. Because if 10 for a grass type was enough to sit up here and combat his heinous destruction, then, you know, may maybe a level 10 flying type will sit up here and outrank him and be like, hey, no, stop that. Stop all of that. And then finally, our secret weapon, Honeykins. She chilling as a level 7. Why don't you tell them what you got, level 7? I got Harden. What? I, I got Harden. What? Wait, what? Are, are, are you hard of hearing? I got Harden. I, I beg your pardon. I got Harden. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's our team for right now, and I think, I think, now that we got our little training montage in and everything's going super duper chill, I think I'll go in here. Oh, also fill in for things that happened last time on Apple Jacks. I set up here and went into the training school and 
That's pretty much it. I explored the dark cave for a minute, and that's where I mostly grind up, ground it up, grind, grind up, as you can see in the training montage, and yeah. Um, what, what do you want? Yo, champ, in the making, you must be here to challenge Flacker, the gem leader, right? You are quite welcome, almost. This city has a tower called the Squirrel Tower where trainers come to train themselves. Challenge Fracker may be too difficult if you haven't gone through their training. Ha 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 ha. Ah oh, man. I sat up here and did all that wild training and put it up to chances and got low XP doing all that other craziness when I could have sat up here and just went into the tower so and I was actually thinking, okay, I'll save the tower for after the gym. That'll be something to sort of hear it and extend this episode if it's not long enough. Uh, experience the ways of Pokemon to cast aside your doubts. Alright, so this is the place. I, I think we're ready for it. I think we got this. What's up, Banana? How are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, here it goes. We got it going already. A bell sprout over a hundred feet tall. It, it looks like Mr. Nose hit our game, people. It looks like he's hit the game. So, um. I'm gonna save again. We, we, we gonna cover all our bases just in case. And. We'll be right back after these messages. Do, 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 do. You're playing FF9? How'd that go? Ooh. So back into the tower we go. Hopefully no glitches this time. Hopefully everything turns out super chill. And, um, what up? What's up? A bell is proud over a hundred feet tall. What do you... What? Get out of here. What kind of stuff you've been given this bell sprout? People say that it became the middle pillar here. Uh, yeah, that's nice, but uh, you know, that suggests so many things about that. See this pillar shaking? Oh, yeah, bro, I see that pillar shaking. We, we all need to get out of here. Why, why is this the challenge that you need to take before getting to challenge the Pokemon gym leader? Words. I'm gonna make an invite. Just, just go ahead and finish the thing because I'm not gonna be able to accept the invite since I'm doing Pokemon right now, and this is for an episode on YouTube. So you know, you pick Chikorita. I love you. Z, you're the only one that loves me for that. Everybody else is like, you didn't pick Tildedow, and I was like, yeah, Tildedow. Because I'm more of a Cyndaquil guy, anyways. That's like. Well, Chikorita will love me, guaranteed. Just, you sit up here and you pick a Totodile. Totodile be running around talking about some. Can I join the Squirtle Squad? I know I'm not a Squirtle, but can I? I, I, I can rock some sunglasses, I can tap dance, I can do all that fancy-ish that Squirtles do. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Lies. Lies. Oh, oh, snaps. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't ready. I was not ready. Look at that bell sprout just sit there like derp. Derp, derp. I got you, derp. That was like, oh, oh, okay. Well, this is happening. I mean, it's a level three, and I probably would have been able to just stomp it out, but. It's the fact that he was just sitting there like derp. Derp. You got more bell sprouts? Why why are you up here cheesing with all these bell sprouts? Is, is this bell sprout nation? Are are you the person that made bell sprout hunting so hard last time? Like bruh. I stood up here and I went bell sprout hunting and that literally took at least an hour of going through Weedles, talking about some Weedles. Weedles, Weedles, Weedles. 
we do like you guys got the short version of me hunting for that bell sprout. I was like, oh, okay. Weedle, 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 weedle. Well, I got done sitting up here streaming it and recording. I was like, weedle, 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 weedle. I, I was talking to people, talking about some weedle. They were looking at me like, what? Oh, I was like, oh, you know, I, I just have a problem that every few steps now, I sit up here and scream out weedle because I, I just have one flash before my face talking about poison sting. And I'd just be like, oh, no, no. That's just what. That is what a hot. That is what a man says to a woman in bed. As long as I am alive, this tower will stay high. See, see. You're right. You're right. This tower got Pokemon in it too. This t this tower got Pokemans. We we got Pokemans. We got we got we got some. Gatsui in here? No? Is it only gonna be Rattatats? If it's only gonna be Rattatats, please get me out of this towel. Better question, it's just like a straight up, straightforward tower. In the windows. More like your Indo. Oh! Are, are, aren't you funny today? Who, who hit you with the funny stick last night? <laughs> Boy, they sitting up here hitting you with a hundred feet bail sprout sound out. You will get the joke. I don't get it. You will get the joke. I don't get it. You you were just chilling there like somebody help. So do you do you all have bell sprouts? It, are are you trying to tell me to level up my Pidgey? It, do you want me to come out here in these streets with a Pidgeotto? Do you want me to come out here in these streets with a Pidgeotto? Because if you want me out here in these streets with a Pidgeotto, you know, that could kind of happen. You know, just please not this episode. <laughs> Only for the reason that that'd be a whole situation of, you ain't sitting up here and got that Pidgeotto on your screen, why you still got Solo on your screen talking about some, hey, hey, come on, give me my experience, I, I just need it. I just need to level up so bad, so the next boss battle I can just punch him in and he'd be looking like, well, you are a more formidable opponent than I thought you would be. And then I just sit there like, yes, indeed, you're right, I am. <laughs> and then he's just like, don't get cocky, I'm only the first gym leader. You know, there's like seven more of us, and you know, since you're playing this game, 16 in total, so... Fifteen more. <laughs> and you're just like, shit. Why did I have to start out with the weak one? Why do we always start out with the grunts? <laughs> I'm saying that, and I just set up here and showed you guys a whole training session. And that was, like, only part of the training session. Like, that training session got split up because I didn't feel like doing it all in one day. Talking about something. One day, <laughs> like one of those Yo Play commercials. Was that Yo Play that used to do that? I don't even know. Boy, Rattlesack, get up out of my face! I don't need no more of y'all. We don't need any of y'all. Period. I don't need Eradicate in my party at the moment, or at all. Shit. Shit. It, it, it's not like I sat up here and did anything that was actually going to kill him. I just sat up here and accidentally clicked Harden. Like, really, bro? Did, did you just want to flex? Did you just want to flex on him with your Onyx? It's it's cool if you want to flex with your Onyx, but, um... You know, you the reason why we got to go back to the Pokemon Center every now and then. Because you don't be paying attention, man. You be getting these Pokemans out here hurt. That's you the reason why Peter be out here talking about some yes Pokemon is abuse. You you guys you guys be out here Ah oh shit. I could have skipped that. I could have skipped that. No <laughs> I'm being stupid. Or I could've at least switched my Onyx out so he wouldn't be the first one in the party talking about some Hi hey, anybody wanna do some chip damage? I like chip damage. Um uh Possibly do a critical and uh, be a grass type. 
No? That, that could be a real thing. Hey, yo, Ducky. Thank you for that follow there. Welcome to the Serial Bowl Nation, the greatest station on the internet. If you ain't know, now you know. Hopefully, you're doing super duper like that Bell Sprout that's chilling right there. Just prancing along, talking about some. <laughs> oh my god. This, this day, it was meant to happen. It was meant to be stupid like this. There were many Bell Sprout slaughters that day, but I was not one of those many. Like I, I, I feel like that's what every Bell Sprout that comes out prepping for this ass whooping thinks for a second. They're like, there were many ass whoopings that day, but I was not one of them. And then Pidgey's just sitting there like, yet, <laughs> yet. That was probably the best welcome ever. I'm good, thanks. How's it going? Oh my god, you just... My ego! It, it, it can't... It can't take it. You just ascended it. No, but... <laughs> thank you for that compliment. And I'm... It's going super duper, you know? Just just trying to keep it chill at the moment. Had a little difficulty with the actual game for a second, but now that we're on a roll and we're into the episode, knowing what we have to do, it's... Show as it can be. I want to say cool as a cucumber, but seeing how we're messing with Bell Sprouts and it's known as the Bell Pepper Pokemon, I I think it would be kind of mad of us. It'd be like cucumbers. You guys steal my thunder even when you're not in the game. You're not a Pokemon. Okay, so um, I just walked into a Pokemon Masters. Where's Nightmare? A barrel sprout empire temple battle thing. <laughs> I, I wish I could just sit up here and tag battle at least two of them and been like, let's let's get rid of six bell sprouts at once. I want to sit up here and be fighting bell sprouts all day. Like, this is the bell sprout Olympics. And you think by now I thought about switching that onyx out? No, no, it, it's cool. You know, you're you don't have pursuit. It's cool as long as you ain't got pursuit. The minute you got pursuit, I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna have to sit up here and um, go Pokemon Dark EX on you and throw some dark Pokeballs and steal your Pokemon away from your Pokemaster and be like, nope, you're mine now. <laughs> That's what you get for harming my Pokemon. I mean, the only bright side of this is I'm actually getting cash. I th yep, yeah, I'm actually getting cash. Because, bruh, that fun, that fun, that that wasn't looking any size of pretty. I was up here taking, <laughs> taking all the types of ales, talking about my cash. I can only buy three potions at a time. Mom, can you send me some of the cash that you're stealing from my Pokemon Trust Fund? It's all I'm paying the rent, Timmy. My name's not Timmy. It's Apple. Your dick. No Pokemon for two weeks! Shut up! That's how I paid a rent, apparently! Touche, Timmy! Touche! It's Apple! <laughs> it's just like a whole little scene. I, like, I really want to know how do you ban some- How do you, uh, ground somebody in the Pokemon world? Like, it, it, is it a whole situation of no Pokemon for two weeks? You know, the Pokemon that are registered under your name, under your Pokédex and all this stuff, people are just like, I'm gonna take your Pokemon, and you're looking like, um, you know that's illegal? That That's Grand Theft Pokey? I, I don't think you can do that in at least three countries. Mm. Um, I'm gonna need you to uh, stop even considering that as a threat. I know Officer Jenny, um, which one? Yeah, well, you you make a good point there, but um, I know her, one of them. At least I think she she had a Growlithe, and you know, uh, they all have Growlithes. It's standard Pokemon police training. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, well, um, touche. You you win this fight. You, you got it. You got it. 
Level it up, level it up. Hey, wait, you learned Gust before you learned Quick Attack. That's quite concerning on many levels. I'm not sure which I want to question first, but on many levels. Just, just no. Also, a uh hoo hoo? The first Pokemon that isn't a Bell Sprout in this tower? Oof! You know, you deserve a war. Like, you, you need to be the monk of the year. Every other monk in this temple, they probably up here shunning you because you going against Bell Sprout tradition. But no! No! Stop it, other monks. You're stupid. This man right here, he has variety. It's gonna be a real Pokemon trainer one day. Cause he knows how not to annoy people by using the same Pokemon over and over again. I'm talking about some, um... Whoa, whoa, what? Oh no, it's Vladimir. Alright, let's see what this elder guy has to say to him. Let's put on our Carmen San Diego coat in our hat and be super exclusive and sneaky. You've showed that... <laughs> You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Sitting up here giving him the same voice. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they can't defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Wait, you could just use the escape rope? <laughs> that better be an escape rope up there! I want to escape rope. Cheating ass, Mark. So no, you're using escape rope, so. Okay. Okay, Pokemon. You, you've avoided Apple's rage today. Rise of you. If you don't move, you stay. Yeah, that's kind of how I timed out the first time. Hey, Apple. What's up, JC? How are you doing? What's going on, buddy? Stupid rat attack. Stupid rat attack! Stupid, stupid rat attack! Stupid, stupid rat attack! Stupid, stupid, stupid rat attack! Stupid, stupid rat attack! Stupid, 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 stupid rat! Stupid, stupid rat! Stupid, 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 stupid rat! Stupid, stupid rat! Sprout Tower is a place of training people in Pokemon test their bonds. Ooh. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm doing good. You know, I just, just, just ran into a few too many Rattatats and uh, a few too many Bellsprouts. Bellsprouts! <laughs> But like that, you know, I um, mean, eventually you see too many, um, bell scraps and you, you just go crazy, um, I mean, or in the mortal words of that one song, MOTHERFUCKING ANIMALS, <laughs> and you have to say it exactly like that, it, it's just one of those situations where it's like, I'm unsure of whether or not I should be going motherfucking animals, as they say, but I think this situation calls for it, so I shall say it in this voice. And you're just like, oh my god, oh, and they're all like, bro, that's too goddamn overdramatic, mad, drama. Boy, boy, you up here looking like you want a damn soap opera. So I'm out. Uh, mm. Oh yes, my Pokemon. <sighs> Their evil twin brother switched out to sit up here and become a part of my party. In so oh, he can get the fame and glory inside of the Pokemon League when I sit up here and win the championship. 
I couldn't tell because he had stole his ribbon that I wrapped around his tail and put it on his own tail. And I didn't notice it until it was already too late and I had put the Pokeball into the machine stating that this was my team for the Pokemon Championship. And everybody's just looking at me like, huh? What? Evil Pokemon? Pokemon are evil? You stupid. Trainers are evil. And you're just like, well, um... Okay. Your ass crazy, Apple. Yeah. Yeah. I've been told that before. Hmm. The way you battle is quite eloquent. You should be able to stand up to Flakna. And you should be able to make good use of this. It is a techno It's a technomical. Technomical. New word, technomical. If you could spell that, I'll give you a cookie in chat. <laughs> it is a technical machine called Flash. Oh god, oh. <laughs> and we're back to the old creepy pervs in this game. Oh, why did a little old man have to give me Flash? Why did a little old man in a robe have to give me Flash, more importantly? It could have been any other little old man! It was the little old man in a robe! Oh. Take it with you. Obtained the TM-70. Okay, okay, you could have called it that. No, it's called Flash. Oh. You could have called it The Flash. Oh. No, no, it's called Flash. Oh. Okay. When a Pokemon learns Flash, you can eliminate caves no matter how dark Illuminati! Confirmed. They may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. Um, hey, so I know your whole, um, tradition for this town is Bellsprout. Bellsprout Nation. Everything is Bellsprout here. But see, I kind of traded my Bellsprout away for Onyx for a reason. Like, like, it made sense. Like, that was the thing to do. I apologize, Elder Bill Sproutians, but, um, fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Hey, no? Okay. What's the flash on CW? Amazing show. Man, it is a good show. Oh, yeah. And the arrow? <laughs> I need to... See, those are reasons to get, like, Hulu Plus. I'd be like, alright, we, we got this. We, we gonna buy Hulu Plus. We, we, we got this. We gonna get that. And, um... While we didn't take any major damage, it's probably best that we sit up here and go get that heal on so we can sit up here and get our PPs back up. So we won't be in the middle of fights on about some... Oh no, I ran out of the super effective move. Well, it's time to use tackle. Tackle. Tackle attack? Yep, I watched them both. Oh, that's cool. You know, you all caught up? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not all caught up. Caught up, but, um, you know. Good shows. <laughs> Wait, we had to have a whole pause moment. Alright, guys. It's go time. It's the moment that you've all been waiting for. I shall burst through these doors, and once I do, I shall no longer be a Pokemon trainee, but I shall be a Pokemon trainer. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, buddy. Yo, champ. In the making. I know trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. If you believe, then a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good advice, bro. Oh, whoa. Huh? What? What What if I was afraid of heights? That's kind of a dick move. You know, just to ascend me into the sky with uh, no proper warning. Thanks. Buddy. I think. This is, but from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. 
Silly person, there are no birds. They're only flyers. You know, birds don't exist. That's that's a real animal. Somewhere. But real animals don't exist in this world, so shut off. Let me see if you're good enough to face Flockna. Flockna. <laughs> I don't I don't know why it just sounds like that to me. It just seems like that's the proper way to say it. It's just like uh, 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 okay. So let me tell you a story. All about how your life got twist turned upside down, and you'd like to take a minute to just sit right here. I I know I did that backwards, but add in that last part. But uh What's up? T tell me that story. One of the hardest Nuzlocke did I've done yet, one, was my Ruby Nuzlocke. Okay. Okay. You, got you gotta tell me about this. You can't just say it was your Ruby Nuzlocke. What happened to this Ruby Nuzlocke? What, what, what adventures did you encounter? Many fail. Many fail? Oh no. No. Not, not many fails. They, they, they have to get back up, right? They, they get back up? No? Okay. But now that I've perfected it, I'm doing it again. This guy, this guy right here, he's got fighting spirit. I like that. When you can sit up here and just cheese your way straight to the gym leader, uh, I think I'll take that extra level. I will win! Wait, so did you win or did you fail? I mean, you made it sound like you won, but now I'm unsure, and I'm just like, in the go! What if you get pushed around up here? Think you'll stagger and fall? You'll stagger and fall? <laughs> People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Silly trainer. No birds. Bring it on. Last time I won. Nice. What was your team when you won? And I will win. Oh no. Oh no. I want to say the odds are against you, but um, it depends how common your team was. Because if you sit up here and you get that foo foo team and you start off, it's going to be one of those situations of oh! agony. Kinda like the time I set up here and I played through the Nuzlocke and I, I was just sitting there chilling with my Mankey talking about this Mankey gonna do something. This Mankey gonna do something. Realizing that Mankey wasn't gonna do none. Cause that Mankey didn't learn a fighting move yet. I was just chilling there like, um, Mankey! He got poisoned and he sat up here and, um, he got poisoned in the forest, mind you. He got poisoned there, and he sat up here and took the grow in his ale, talking about some... Hey, um, so... This, this Weedle is about to get a critical hit off of me, and, uh... I hate to tell you this. GG! And you're just like, Mickey! And he's like, bro, don't be calling my name like that. And you like, man, Mickey, you better sit up here and come back to life. You don't die until I tell you to die. And he like, bro, you want me to die? And you was like, oh man, well, I mean it like that. You shut up. You know how I mean. And he'd be like, you know how I mean. Boy, where your grammar at? Where where your grammar at? We we gonna say this. We we, we gonna say this. We ain't come this far. This is up here and have to go back into a tower of bell sprouts. Talking about bell 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 sprout bell sprout. <laughs> Sprout. <laughs> I know I know that didn't come off well on chat, but um, you know, if, if you were here, it would have sounded raw as hell. <laughs> like everybody's excuse for everything. It, it would have sounded raw as hell if you were um here. So we're gonna sit up here and uh we're gonna talk to this boy. And I think this might be our final fight for the episode. Most likely, because we're at the last minute. Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to burn Pokemon. 
silly gem trainer. Okay, I'll let you get away with it. But, um, okay. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Also, I've done many soul silver nuzzlocks, but never won. Huh? Yeah? From the looks of this game, I'd say that's why I'm not doing a nuzlocke for it. <laughs> it seems like it's pretty long, because I was looking up the map. I was like, oh. Well, see, if it comes to a situation where I ever need another Pokemon, I at least won't be struggling because all of these routes, but then it turns into a situation of, hey, you don't know this area, so this whole first half of the game, you're going to be struggling. That second half, you good. You all types of good. Wait, Pidgeotto? What you doing? Pidgeotto! No! No! That's my Pidgeotto! No, it's not my Pidgeotto at all. Bruh! Onyx, you mind, you mind not missing for once? That would be, that would be all types of love. That'd be life right now. What happened to the Fire Omega Nuzlocke? Okay, so... If you guys didn't hear earlier in this, because I probably edited it out like an idiot, who knows, but um, in the Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke, I set up here in a... Bitch! Did you just roast me? Did you, did you just roast? Did you just roast the Roast Master and his Roast History? I'm gonna put you on a Roast History and have me some Pidgey Wings. Some Pidgeotto Wings. Mmm, Pidgeotto Wings. Take that, L, L, L. What? You ain't take no L. So essentially, Bro said when he first started up the thing, and I read through it kind of, but I didn't pay enough. I didn't pay any mind to it. He said that he changed the leveling and the way that it levels up. So. Yeah, you gain levels faster, and I was like, oh, cool, whatever. And then he changed, like, a few of the moves, like the typing and stuff. That's cool. It's not a good <laughs> He changed the typing and stuff, and I was like, alright, whatever. So then, gets into a situation where, with Misty, I was like, you know, I don't feel like grinding anymore because I've been grinding all day. Um... I'm gonna sit up here and take on her. I'm gonna take her on because I was about to get off stream and I was like, wait, hold on, my friends came in. I'm gonna sit up here and stream for them because they just came in and I don't want to be that dick that's like, I'm just going offline, guys. Bye. And then they'd be like, really, Apple? Really? We, we, we gonna chill with you never. Like, never. We, we, we'll see you uh, when, when you ain't as petty, so. It was a whole situation, and then I was like, all right, cool. I took out her first two Pokemon. Now, normally in the story, you take out two or three Pokemon when you get to Misty. Three Pokemon. I was like, cool, I got enough stamina to do that. I can sit up here and I can switch out, and we can just go in and take out her two Pokemon. Whatever. That's all good. Ain't no problem with this. Boy, I got in that gym. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon, but a defeat is a defeat. All right, take the official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephron badge. Receive the Zephron badge from Flackner. Boy, I just can't pronounce shit. <laughs> that's, that's how we are going to put this. With the badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon, up to... Uh, what? Wait, with that badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20, okay, will obey you without question. Um, see, I appreciate that, but I, I kind of feel wrong on the inside to just force them to do what I say without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Bro, you're, you're the flying gym. Why, why didn't you allow me to use fly? There, there's some type of shadiness going on here, right? Okay. 
Pokemon will instantly learn new moves. Think before you act, a TM can only be used once. TM 51 contains Ross. It restores health. Yeah. It restores half the max HP. There are Pokemon gems in cities and towns ahead. Make good use of them as well for your next move. I would suggest. Town. There we go. So essentially, she put out a. Uh, a Cedra? A Was it a Kendra? Fuck it. Anyways, popped it out. That sucker was a grown 24. I was like, wait, what? Bro, you usually cap out at 20. 21 max. I was like, I got this. I got this. We cool. No, no. You ain't got this. That boy swept me with Dragon Breath. He swept the whole team with Dragon Breath. Like, no, nope. GG. Bye. Get out of here. You thought one electric type Pokemon was going to be able to take this squad down? I, was, I just sat there. I was like, you know, I could start over and use the squad that I have in the box, but that's too much pain and that would require so much training up. So I didn't sit up here and do that because all I had in the box was a Cyndaquil and um, some normal type Pokemon. So it's like, oh, okay. This is going to be a whole situation. Hello, Apple. We've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry the egg. That egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go meet him and um, pick up that egg? Um, are, are you at least a good cook? Can, can I can I at least trust your cooking? We good? Uh, uh, I, I hate how you guys never give me answers to important situations like this. Come on, bruh. Come on. So we're going to sit up here and get the Pokemon again. That's probably going to be it. That's probably going to be it. I'd like to take a moment. Hold up. Wait. Let's read this. So this is a story all about how my life gets whipped, turned upside down, and I like to take a moment, and just sit right there. <laughs> we 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 gonna get double the whammy just for singing that again. Good evening, Apple, isn't it? Oh oh no, he knows. I have a package for you. Oh well, I just scary from your mom. Oh wait, what? Here you go. This gets creepy. This gets creepy. You obtained a super potion. I guess she must have heard my last rant, you know, and this is her way of- Wait, that's my money anyways. We look forward to your next visit. Oh, okay. Um, are, are you, are, are you, are you the guy? No? Are, are you the guy? No? But they don't appear to know how to use man-made items. You can't be the guy. This must be the guy. Guy? Oh, he, he's, gi he's giving me options to purchase his items. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> Long time no see, Apple. Hey, Assistant Smitty. Yeah, Smitty. It's it's good to see you, buddy. How goes the assistant? I've been waiting for you. Whoa, bro. I, I know we're cool and, you know, we hang out at the beach and stuff and do beachy things, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to question that. This, this is from Professor Elm. Oh, oh, snaps. This is all happening so fast. The thing is, we would like you to, um, take care of this egg. Oh, I had an option? Well, you know, a free Pokemon is a free Pokemon. Received the egg. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about, but after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out. I can think of... I can't think of anyone more suited than Apple. Hey. Hey. Look. 
this guy, give, give me compliments. You know, maybe, maybe you're not such a creepy doctor. You know, and so you do the next creepy thing, but uh, maybe you're not such a creepy doctor. Then he insisted that I handed this egg to you. Okay, that's cool. That's how I came here to deliver the egg to you. Yeah, well, I, I, I was kind of here for that part. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it. Thank you, Smitty. Captain Obvious. It's only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. Uh, to, yeah, uh, yes, yes. My party. Um, you mean like... A beach party? A pool party? A pizza party? No, shoot. Oh, okay. That's another reason we've chosen you, Apple. Please, take care of it! Okay. Hey, Neverland! What's up with you? What's up, lady? Oh, no. No, it just doesn't end. Why can't you guys ever let me just do things? Oh my, that egg must be, I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor M, then from Professor M to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Wait, what? Is that understood? Who the f are you? I'm counting on you. I don't even know you. Why did you counting on me matter? Speed cola. So we're gonna sit up here and save this right here, guys. Um, and we're gonna pass this over to the end of the box so I don't have to add an egg onto my Pokemon list. I know somebody's gonna be mad that I didn't add it, the egg onto my list, but um, shh. leave that to future Apple. Don't don't make current Apple do it. F f future Apple, go. But um, yeah, got you guys there. So, and we are back at the end of the box where we just sat up here and finished another super duper amazing video. So big thumbs up to everybody that watched this video and super duper duper uber uber duper thumbs up to everybody who watched this video all the way through. I appreciate it. So much love to all of you. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> I apologize for the wait. Sorry for the wait. Um, just started back school, so you know, a bunch of stuff set up here and kept delaying me from getting this video out. And hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, sit up here and leave those comments down below. As always, I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. And get that in to anybody that isn't already following me on other social medias. My social medias are in the description as always. As always. You should sit up here and check that stuff out so you can catch me on any social media. Just in case I don't do something for another two weeks, you can be like, Hey Apple, would you? And I could be like... <laughs> no, I'm playing, but um, once again, I appreciate you guys for supporting, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. To anybody that's new here to the channel, thanks so much for giving me your time as well. I appreciate that. Hopefully, everybody has a super duper time, super duper day. Just, just be amazing. Go out there. I'll catch you all later. That's it. That's all I have to say. I'm going to stop rambling. So, munch, munch, munch. Peace out. That's a wrap.